Question two. The random variable x has the distribution GO 0.2. So remember, that means that we're going to carry out some independent trials of an experiment. The probability of being successful is 0.2. We're going to keep doing it until we succeed for the first time. What's the probability that x equals 3? In other words, what's the probability that we succeed for the first time on our third trial? That would involve failing, and then failing, and then being successful. 0.8 squared times 0.2, which is 16 over uh, 125. 16 over 125. 25, yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Um, or we could give our answer to three significant things. What's the probability of x being between 3 and 5? Well, actually, for this one, this is this is not binomial where we could have used the tables and subtracted. Um, this is probably the easiest way of doing this is to work out the three individual probabilities, isn't it? X being three, X being four, and the probability of X being five. That's what it means for X to be between three and five. So that is that one we've worked out. This one is 0.8 cubed times 0.2, and this one is 0.8 to the 4 times 0.2. And if we work out those individual probabilities, it gives us, I don't know the answer here, did you get 0.312? Yep. 976 over 3125, but we'll do it to three significant figures. That's 0.312. Very good. Uh, what's the probability of x being greater than 4? Well, we just talked about this. This is the really nice one to get in geometric. If x is greater than 4, the only way to carry out more than 4 trials of our experiment is if we fail 4 consecutive times. So the probability of x being greater than 4 is 0.8 to the power of 4. 0 0.4096. I like that answer. Very good. Um, or we could give it 0 0.4, 1, 0, 3, 5. Brilliant. Right. And then it says two independent values of x are found. Find the probability that the total of these two values is 3. Okay, so this is linking some other probability stuff in here. Um, we've got quite a lot that we need to work out for this, haven't we? Um, two independent values are found. Probably that the total of the two values is three. How could we how could we get three from the two values? Well, the only way we can make three, we, we can't have zero. Remember, as a geometric thing, because. Geometric says it's the number of trials that we take, and we can't have no trials before we're successful. So the only values that x can take are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So for two of them to add up to 3, it has to be 1 and 2, or 2 and 1. That's it, isn't it? The only way we could get that to happen, 1 and 2, or 2 and 1. And so we need to work out these probabilities. The probability of x being 1, well, that's succeeding first time, isn't it? That's what x being 1 means, and that must be 0.2. The probability that x is 2 is 0.8 times 0.2. So uh, 0.16. And we're asked for the two independent events, two independent events, so we would multiply these together. And, and it needs to add up to that, so there's two ways it could happen. So our answer is two times, because there's two ways it could happen, 0 0.2 times 0 0.16. And this one gives us... Um, 0 0.064? Yeah. No. 
Is that all right? Is everybody happy with that? <coughs> and that's my 